Hello, this is Dr. Kevin Kirk. Today we're going to make a puffball creature. Puffball critter, puffball thing. It's just some kind of cute puffball thing. So I'll start with a UVW sphere. And it doesn't really matter in this case, but I'm going to do an object shade smooth, just kind of out of habit. So it looks like a billiard ball or something, and that's fine. Now I'm going to make eye stalks for this thing. So I want to make eye stalks for it. I'm going to do a front view here. I just hit one on the number pad here. You can also just tap up here. That's fine. So I want to make eye stalks. I'm going to add another UV sphere. And that pops in. And I'm going to do an RX90. RX90, enter. When I do that, it faces you, which is awfully nice. That's what I want. So yeah, I'm going to make the eye stalks out of this thing. So let's start coloring it. I'll go into the materials. Do a new one. This will be the base color for it and part of the color of the beastie. So what colors do I want? I think I'll do blues, I guess. This will be a kind of a medium deep blue, I think. So that'll work. Make sure you can see it. <laughs> okay, so medium deep blue, I think, for the eye color down there. Now, I'm going to go to edit mode and give some other colors to this thing. Um, I'm going to go and, you know what? I take back the blue. Let's have it be, no, it's not the blue, that's fine. All right, so I'm going to hold down the Alt and kind of select, well, let's go up for faces and select around some areas here. So I'm gonna to start to color this eyeball. But one thing I want is loop cut. I'm gonna do it right here just to have a better kind of a layout and I'm holding down oh, I want the faces holding down the alt selecting the ring here and the shift alt selecting whoops control Z for that select the ring here ah never mind I'll do the shift and just drag over it how's that cool this part's gonna be black so I'll do a new color and I'll assign it and I'll make the color black nice now let's select around it this one and shift and this one and shift and this one also that's gonna be my eye color so what color eye do I want I, I don't even know let's do a purpley pink kind of thing a sign boom there we go perfect okay that's gonna be my eye for the thing back to object mode scale it down Nice. I'm going to go to a side view now. And I want to make the eye stalk. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a critter, I told you. So I'll make the eye stalk. I want to select through it. So make sure you got the x-ray going on here. I'm going to select the section right through here. Whoops, edit mode. Select the section right through here. That's about right. So that's going to be the eye stalk of this thing. Um, this is a great tool, the spin tool. So I'm going to use it. And I'm going to spin around this. I'm going to set up a spot right about here. It looks pretty fun. And then I'll do a spin. And you have to make sure you get the axis correct. And this is the one for this. So I'll spin around this way. And I'm just going to hit E and extrude it down a bit. That's going to be my eye stalk. That's literally my eye stalk. So there it is go take off the x-ray take a look at color there's the eye stock cool all right so what I do I'll go to the front view again got my eye stock it's got object mode it looks pretty fun a little bit rough I thought I did the object shade smooth on this maybe I didn't shade smooth boom so much better so much better if you want to you can subdivide it <laughs> um, I don't think I need to right now so I'll go to the front view here, and I'll take this little eye stock. G, move it over. Maybe R, kind of move it over a little bit like this. Oh, I know what else I need to do before I put it in position. I need to go to the base here and make that my pivot point. So I'm going to click on this here, which is the cursor. I'll set the cursor up to be at the bottom. There. Then object set origin to 3D cursor. Object set origin to 3D cursor. Perfect. That means I can rotate it based on that which just helps out. So I'll pop that in, this, in the body of the thing. 
I'm gonna duplicate Shift D. Rotate this around. No, I got two eye stocks on this critter. They don't have to be exactly perfect. They don't have to be even, just whatever works. And that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm almost done with my critter. A um, few things. I want to make them animatable. That's why I'm messing with the cursors and the pivot points. I'm going to select the eye stock and then the body and then object, parent, object. So object, parent, object, boom. And the eye stock and then the body with the other one. Object, parent, object. That's pretty important because now I can grab the body, hit G and move it around and the eyes go with it. So that's pretty cool. I know, it's too much fun. All right, so that's a good thing. Now I need to make it furry because it should be a puffball kind of thing and it needs to be furry. So here's how I'm gonna make it furry. Let's go into, well, I'm just gonna go into the particles here. So it's gonna be a particle system, a brand new one with the body, but it's gonna be hair this time. So I'll do hair, ta-da, reduce the length unless you're really crazy. So reduce the length on that, beautiful. Now, one of the best ways to mess with this is to go into the children. There's a lot of stuff here. First thing is this interpolate, boom, makes it look like a lot more hair, because it is, it kind of cheats and adds a lot more hair to it. So let's do that. Now, if I were to render this guy, ta-da, it looks nice and puffy and he's got hair, which is beautiful. I'm gonna do a few more things to it. So the material for the hair, I'm gonna change out pretty much immediately. I'm gonna take a look at what I've got here. I've got the blue, so I'll just go over here and I'll do a control C and copy that blue color with a control C. Back to the body, my materials, I'm gonna do a new one. You know what, let's jump over to shading now. And in shading, I'm gonna mix some colors here. So let's go ahead and add. Oh, let's do a noise, noise is fun. And let's feed my noise into a color ramp. So noise to color ramp, just the top to the top, top to the top, it's totally fine. Totally acceptable. And over here, I'm gonna hold my mouse on it and control V, paste. So I got that beautiful blue. Now for the other side, I'll do the same thing, except for the other color on the eye stock, which was the pinkish one here. So hold your mouse over it, control C to copy it. Jump back in here, put your mouse where it needs to be, control V to paste it. There you go, now I've got these weird colors here. We'll bring them closer together so you can see how they interact. And highlight, and you can tell the difference. That's so much better. I could spend some time working on the sizes of these, the scales of these. Um, bring it, actually, I'm bring it down a little bit, just make it kind of fun. That's pretty cool, I like that. I'm gonna call that part done. Let's jump back to layout, take a look at my layout. There you go, so that's my puffball so far. It's very cute, I think. Let's do a quick render test. And yeah, he's looking pretty good. Now, another thing I can do over there also in the children thing is to mess with that fur. If I don't want it uniform and beautiful like that, I can mess with it. So over here in the particle system, under the children section, I can go over to the roughness and increase the uniformity and the size. Change the uniformity and change the size. So I can make it less uniform and adjust the size of it. From very tight to very spread out. I'll do kind of an in-between right there. Makes it still pretty tight. Looks pretty good. And see what I made. So there we go. Got some customized fur. I like my critter. That's pretty much it. So that's it. I'm making this nice little puffball critter. And he's good to go. Keep in mind, if I grab the body, hit G, I can animate him, hopping all over the place, whatever you want to do. There you go. Enjoy your little um, character. They're kind of fun.